So the new operation just went live today in Halo Infinite and it's called the Yappening Part 2. In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about this new operation. So when you first boot into Halo Infinite, what can you do within the game? Well, the one activity you can do that's brand new if you go into multiplayer is the Grunt Apocalypse. You have on regular, heroic, and legendary, and it replaces the regular firefight. But don't worry for your regular firefight fans, as the Grunt Apocalypse playlist will be around for the next two weeks until April 16th. And you do have a free 20 tier battle pass to grind through, so let's check that out. So when you buy into the Yapping Pass, which is 500 credits, you do get this coating that goes for all your UNSC weapons. Looks kind of nice, but I think I might hold my cash right there. So on the first level, you get a backdrop, you get a XP boost, an emblem, another nameplate, you get a weapon charm of Yip Yap, I believe is the guy's name, on your weapon, which actually looks kind of nice. I enjoy that quite a bit. Another XP boost, another nameplate, another nameplate, and you get another weapon charm with a little plasma grenade, which looks awesome, right? Then you get some actual content with this actually pretty interesting look of a coating. Kind of like a emerald green kind of effect to it. I'd like to see what it looks like on other weapons as well. Another XP boost. And then like usual to level 12 is where you actually start getting into the armor sets. And this is all a like grunt inspired armor set, which looks pretty awesome. Actually, not going to lie. So you have an arm part right there. You have a new piece right there around the belt. You do have an air chest piece to go right there. Looks kind of nice, kind of a little bulky, beefy part to your Spartan. You do have another coating that kind of matches a little bit of the previous one, but it's kind of like a coating that we've seen before, right? But it has a little bit of a checkered pattern, a little more brown, a little darker coloring right there. Another XP boost. You have a visor, as you can see right there. And then you have a, another multi-use armor coating. And then you get these awesome shoulder pads right there, which I am very excited about trying to grind to get these out. You got the new helmet, the Hawker helmet, and they have also the piece that goes on top of that as a helmet attachment for your 20 tiers. But you know, there is always something up with the shop. So, you know, we gotta check that out. As you have your main bundle worth 3,600 credits right here, which has some pretty cool effects mixed in with it. Some pretty interesting helmets and stuff. This death effect here is actually pretty cool. And a rocket launcher model, which is a, a rarity here to see. And a pretty cool armor effect here, having some like decibel looks coming, coming off your side of your Spartan, if it sparks your interest. I mean, if you want to look like a grunt, this armor set right here is going to do it for you. Though again, 1800 credits, 1600 credits for this, 1600 credits again, 2400 credits. People are calling this like Fotis Helmet Part 2, but not exactly that. But you also have some other type of grunt inspired type of armors, which look pretty sweet. But again, it's just kind of pricey. In the Cestus bundle, you actually have a new model for your sidekick, which is looking awesome. But again, it's just tied behind a bundle that's worth 2,400 credits. I just kind of want the weapon model, man. We have some Mark IV armor sets as well within the mix here. Again, very grunt inspired kind of stuff, but looks pretty freaking awesome. But again, the price is just not really settling very well with me right now. As which shows the way to earn currency within the game, like a lot of other popular shooters with battle passes do nowadays. So then you can actually have some things within the shop without having to spend money, but your time, which is equally as important. The weekly ultimate might be worth grinding as you get a scav patch for your armor set. I'm sure many of you saw this map within the trailer. This is a new forge map called Corrosion, but it's not in the game right now. I'm sure many of you are wondering, where is this map then? Well, it's actually coming in later with the season. They stay here saying Corrosion will arrive in game on week three of the operation with a bespoke 24 seven playlist. But there's a very interesting thing about corrosion because the same team that brought you elevation sparasoft is also working on three forge maps that come into the game and corrosion is the first of those forge maps now i would give you a tour of this new map but when you go to search for the map here as you can do with any kind of forge map you just type in the name of the map itself it doesn't come up properly. there is a corrosion but this is a different corrosion this isn't the same one because this is made by Sparasoft and be releasing three weeks later. So it's not actually in the game right now, not made by the community. So how well can Sparasoft forge compared to the community? Well, we'll have to wait and see. So apparently in the Grump Pocalypse version, you start out with just random weapons and I have a gravity hammer so I just picked up a rocket launcher. So we're definitely gonna go with that. Now I know it's grunts might be not the most exciting kind of enemies to fight against, but they can catch you off guard. Because we do know all about those suicide grunts that so can be a bit nutty at times. I'll get the smash! Oh my goodness. Yes! <laughs> I'm so sorry, but also not sorry at the same time. There he is, that's a suicide grunt. 
He's frantic. He's going crazy. He just died. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, the hammer is still very good in this game. Even despite the nerf. No! That's exactly what I was talking about. Would it be me if I hit these grunts with this fusion coil? Maybe a little. Oh, there's a boss grunt. Well, he's dead already. Whoa, he's throwing grenades on me. Oh, there's another boss grunt. I see what you're doing here, 343. Three. You know, we got some more baddie grunts over here. You can try and chain these shots right here. No, not really happening. This feels like we're just cyberbullying these grunts right now. Like, they just have so little health. And they're just so adorable. And they're trying their best. What? The sad little train of grunts and they're all gonna die. Oh, maybe I'm gonna die. Holy crap. Get out of here. <laughs> they're all just like sprinting and just like in fear of arms are flailing. It's just adorably sad because they're all gonna die. <gasps> Not again! You're gonna be kidding me! El Shrek is reviving me. Thank you, El Shrek. Let's we'll chain this. Watch as we chain all these shots right here. Not again! Are you kidding me, brother? They took us both out! El Shrek coming back in the clutch. I appreciate it, brother. These runs are lethal, man. Now I'm gonna have some peace and space to actually do some chain action. You can see how I froze them all right there, which is fine with this disruptor. Underappreciated weapon, man. Don't sleep on the disruptor. Break against vehicles as well. Because yeah, you can stun vehicles with it. It's super useful. Hey, yeah! Didn't quite get in there. There you go. Good job, teammate. Would a Ravager actually be useful against Grunts? Still not. Still not useful. You saw me. I had three bursts of that Grunt. Still couldn't take him on. Oh, no. Come on, Ravager. He's some kills. Okay, there we go. I need to be able to take out this Grunt and revive my teammate. Oh, uh, please survive. There we go. We got our overshield up now, too. Let's go. Even the Ravager can't handle Grunts. Like, this is how useless this weapon is. I'd love to see this weapon get a nice buff against the first of it so we're you can actually have it be useful within the sandbox I'm not sure. so the grunt apocalypse side of things it's a fun little novelty personally i'd like to see this as a round mixed in with a regular firefight rather than just have it be its own dedicated mode i would think this would be a possibility within the customization that's available for firefight especially since now that the limitations of having king of the hill has been removed with the recent updates Meaning we could have just regular classic firefight with regular enemies as well as a grunt apocalypse round or something like that. I don't know, I think it'd be awesome. And I understand doing the drip feed style with having corrosion come in later, but it feels like it's very one dimensional right now when it comes to this update and you have a whole new pass to grind through, but you're kind of going to be mainly playing grunt apocalypse for a little bit, then going back to your regular routine of however you like to play Halo. And that's the yapping update. Make sure you keep yourself subscribed to the channel to keep up to date with all the stuff going on with gaming. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.